Hey everyone and welcome back to Diablo Flamenco. In this video we're going to look at some more 789 phrases in Solia, so let's get started. If you haven't seen my video The Freedom of Falsetto Fills yet, I will put a card up top for you. I highly recommend watching that video before continuing on with this lesson because most of the compas examples are going to be used in this video, it's just that we're going to change beats 7, 8, and 9. So if you watch that video, let's go ahead and continue. You may remember this idea of solia from our previous video of falsetto fills where we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve or one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we're going to keep that same idea, but we're going to change the 789. So what we're going to do, we're going to have our 1, 2, 3, and our 4, 5, 6, for now our discorpes, and our 10, 11, 12, 10, 11, 12, is all going to be the same from the previous video. But now let's think of some new 789 phrases we can do. A nice easy one, if you've seen my intro to slurs and hammer-on video, you might remember this phrase. So here, I start on my E string, the 6th string. I'm going to play it open first, and I'm going to hammer on to the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd fret. So, open note, slur, slur, and slur. So open 1, 2, 3. We're going to do the same thing on the A string, and the same thing on the D string. So these are 16th notes, so we have 7 and a, 80 and a, 90 and a, to our 10, 11, 12. So if we combine everything, we have E to E7 to our flamenco F, golpe, 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 7 and a, 80 and a, 90 and a, 10. One more time. So now we have a phrase that sounds like this. So a little more interesting than just going seven, eight, nine. So this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. school 789 phrase but it works very well I do variations of this in my solia where I might go and I hold that so basically here beat 9 I'm doing as an eighth note instead of a 16th note where I just go open string to first fret I might do that or I might even go open string to third fret I do both so here or to our 10, 11, 12. So there are three options right there of the same phrase but played slightly different. And you can pick which ones you like the best, or you can play all of them within the same solia, and they're all correct. Another really nice phrase we can use in our 789 comes from a very traditional old school falsetta that sounds something like this. to falsettas, we can take a section of falsetta and use it as a 789 phrase. So what I found recently is taking the beginning of that falsetta and using it for 789. So that might sound like this. Alright, so it's still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, So this one has a triplet feel. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, to our 10, 11, 12. So how am I doing this one? So take your pointer finger. We're gonna keep it planted on the 
first fret of the sixth string, which is pretty easy because we're coming out of that flamenco F from beat three, and that's carrying over to our four, five, six here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play that first, and then we're gonna play open A, second fret on A, and third fret on A. So far we have. And now on the D string we play open D, and then second fret, and third fret. So, so far. One more time. And then to finish, we're going to play the open G, and then third fret on D again, to our 10, 11, 12. So, if we combine everything here, we have one. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and that's a really nice phrase you can use. So you can also look and get inspiration from full falsettas, taking little bits and pieces and using it in seven, eight, nine. The next phrase we're going to use is another traditional phrase that sounds like this. So what I'm doing here is we're holding this chord with the ring and middle finger. The ring finger is on the third fret of the D string, so we get this note, and our middle finger is on the second fret of the G string for this note. And we're gonna plant our fingers, we're gonna plant our thumb first on the A string, and then our index, middle, and ring are gonna follow. Index is gonna be on D, middle on G, and ring on the B string. First we're gonna play the open A, and then we're gonna roll these fingers towards our palm here. And that's beat seven, so it's seven. Next, we're gonna use our pinky finger to grab the third fret on the sixth string and play that string open, and then another roll on the same strings as before. So, so far we have seven, eight, Finally, our pointer finger is going to grab first fret on the sixth string. We're going to lift our pinky off, play that note, followed by the roll, and then our 10, 11, 12. So that sounds like this. 7, 8, 9, 10. You can also play this phrase a little bit straighter. You can always play it more like a 16th note, where it's 7 and a 80 and a 90 and a 10. That sounds just fine as well. But I like this kind of syncopated. So you can still hear it's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It sounds a little more funky, a little more interesting because we are syncopating how we roll the chord, basically. And there's lots of variations we can do on this as well. There's another one where I go. Here I'm doing a kind of combination arpeggio, as I might call it, where we're going P I M A M I, a six note arpeggio. So here's beat seven, and then on beat eight I go thumb, and then I chunk with these fingers. So so far, and then on beat nine. I do another arpeggio on that, and then 10, 11, 12. So you can hear it's kind of repetitive here. And that's another nice way we can change up that same exact phrase. Let's do one more phrase that's a little more challenging with some slurs, but it's a really nice one coming out of our flamenco F. And that one will sound like this. So what am I doing here? So. We're going to hold our flamenco F chord, and then from here, we're gonna do some arpeggiation. We're gonna play the sixth string and the B string together, and that's thumb and ring finger. And then we're gonna do this backward arpeggio. That's on the G string and D string with the middle and pointer finger. Open A, and then go in 
do a forward arpeggio. So, so far we have P, A, M, I, P, I, M, A kind of feel. And this is all on the flamenco F. From here we're going to do some slurs to our 10, 11, 12. So here, coming out of that flamenco F, we just did this. Then we're going to take the pointer finger, move it to the first fret on the B string, play that note, and then pull it off so we get the open B. From here, our middle finger that's on the second fret of G, we're going to play that note and pull it off as well. So, so far. finish, play that 3rd fret on the D that's already held with our flamenco F chord to our 10, 11, 12. And you see sometimes I also do a hammer on when I go to that uh, B string. Right there. Sometimes I hammer on as well, especially if I'm going into a sort of faster solia. I might do that as well. So, nice and slow, hold our flamenco F chord. Right? And then a little bit faster. We have a phrase that sounds like that. And those are just a few options you have available in our 789 phrases. So you can pick and choose which ones you like, which ones are easy for you. If some of them are a little more difficult right now, you can put them off till later or just practice them very carefully. So like I said, the Beats 789 is where you as the guitarist have the most freedom. You can use some of mine or you can keep going online and you can find many other variations. There's dozens and hundreds of possibilities out there that people have released or written and you can decide which ones you like and which ones you don't. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to demonstrate all of these possibilities real quick using the same compass variations we've been using. And let's hear how our solia sounds like just by changing beats seven, eight, and nine. And that's all I'll give you for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed learning about these 789 phrases in Solea. And let me know down in the comment section below if you would like to see more of these possibilities and variations. Or you can also let me know as well, would you like to see this concept applied to other bottles? Because we can also do this in Adagrias and Bordadias, etc. But it's the easiest to explain how this works within the Solea. So that's why we did Solea first. Also, feel free to give me a follow on my Instagram at Diablo underscore Flamenco for more updates on this channel and other projects I am working on. And I hope to see you in the next class. Yasa luego.